Exclusive look tonight at the uh, inside Indiana shopping malls continues. We're looking more into efforts to keep shoppers safe nationwide. As CBS 4's Russ McQuaid explains now, the Simon Property Group is able to monitor threats across the country from right here in Indianapolis. That security tower is just the first line of defense in keeping shoppers and the property safe here at Castleton Square Mall, but it's what's going on inside the mall behind closed doors where the real heavy lifting of shopping security is going on. The Simon Operational Center is three rooms packed with 92 operatives viewing video monitors watching what's going on at shopping malls from coast to coast. If a shopper is stuck in an elevator in North Carolina or a suspicious vehicle is circling a loading dock in Los Angeles, chances are it will be an employee in Indianapolis who will alert local security on the ground. Well, they're looking at a lot of different things. Artificial intelligence, uh, they're looking at cameras, they're taking in phone calls, they're dispatching uh, security officers and police officers around the country. It's not only what the cameras see, but what they don't see, such as intelligence tips from social media or law enforcement sources that help anticipate or predict trouble, whether it's a teenager with a gun or an organized shoplifting crew. We have a predictability tool that we use that gives us a, a probability model of where incidents may occur based on a variety of uh, data points built into this algorithm that allows us to not only deploy our resources in a more scientific way, but to also view our cameras in a more scientific way. A string of recent shootings at Indianapolis area shopping centers convinced the property group to open the doors of its internal security operation. We generally kept things quiet because we didn't want people to know our security programming. We didn't want th them to understand or the bad guy to understand the capabilities that we had and the fact that we see them, we watch them, we catch them. But we've decided to change that philosophy and let our community know that, you know, we're out ahead of it. We're doing what we need to do to, to win. Simon is also upgrading its artificial intelligence technology to better identify banned persons to keep them not only out of this mall, but all Simon properties. At Castleton Square Mall, Russ McQuaid, CBS 4 News. Russ, thank you. Next at 5 o'clock, staying the course, the tough.